Hey everybody, Hunter coming back at you. Uh, doing a little, um, I guess you could call this a video, um, oh, I'm not sure what you would call it. But anyway, what we're going to be talking about today is um, a very handy tool that some of you may be familiar with. Uh, many of you may own it. Um, I'm definitely a big fan of this thing. Um, it has its, uh, its good points and its bad points. Um, so I'm going to try to touch on those today and uh, show you what this uh, this product can do. Um, and what we're talking about is a product called the chopper. A uh, very handy tool uh, for replicating multiple uh, parts. Uh, whether you're doing it, you know, in 90 degrees or you're doing it in, um, you know, you know, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, whatever. Uh, it's very handy for that. Uh, very simple tool. You have the base. Um, it's made out of metal. It's a uh, cast metal. And it has a single screw in it uh, right here. And you take this piece out and it has just a regular single edge razor blade in it. And I actually bought a pack of uh, 500 for like, um, oh, I think they were seven or eight bucks, something like that. And, um, or it may have been 5000 I don't know what it was, but you can buy the single edge razor blades pretty cheap to go in it. Uh, definitely keep your blade sharp. Um, if you do a, a fair amount of cutting on a project, um, go ahead and switch that blade out uh, before you start the next part. Uh, it, it really helps on that to, to make sure that blade's sharp. And uh, if you do get a chip in it, which will happen from time to time, uh, definitely change it out because you'll make a bunch of mistakes if that blade is dull or chipped. Um, so, you know, when you get this thing in the package, it comes with these uh, two thumb screws right here. Uh, and they have a purpose. And it will also come with some of these metal angle brackets. Uh, now, how these work is this one here happens to be a 30 degree bracket. Um, if you need something cut at 30 degrees, basically all you're going to do is just set that bracket in there with the long point out here. And you just want to turn your thumb screw clamp around. And you want to line the edge of it up next to your blade there. And tighten that down. And now say you wanted to cut a piece of, um, oh, let's just use this piece of strip plastic here that we have. Say you want to cut 30 degrees on the end of this right here. You would just set that into the chopper. And hold it just like that. And just push the handle down, and you have a 30 degree cut on the top of that piece of sheet plastic. Uh, now the one thing that I will uh, let you know on this product, this is one of the uh, downsides of it, is whenever you're cutting something fairly thick, this here is almost an eighth of an inch piece of uh, strip stock from Plastruck, it will tend to cut this edge on a bevel. Uh, there's a couple of ways to not have that happen. Uh, so let me show you the first way. Uh, but usually if you're cutting an angle like that and you're sliding it in, it's going to be very hard to keep the blade going through a thicker piece of plastic like this from bending as it goes through. So no big deal. It gets you definitely in the neighborhood. And then all you need to do is just kind of look at it, tell which way the, uh, the angle is. And just go in with your sanding stick and just lightly straighten that up a little bit. And it squares right back up. No big deal. You're good to go. Um, so we'll take that plate out of there right now. If I can get it loose. There we go. And another thing is uh, that you may run into. This is another thing that I found with this tool that uh, for me personally I don't really like all that well. Uh, these are made out of metal. And they have a, uh, they look like they're powder coated. And this clamp does not tend to want to hold this if you put a lot of pressure on it. So what I came up with is, I actually don't use the metal pieces anymore. I came up with my own. And I have a selection here. This one here happens to be a 60 degree angle. I got a 45. Um, I have a 30. And I have a 14 and a half. I've got others over here. 
Uh, this 14 and a half degree angle was for a project I was working on actually for um, uh, for my Ford 9000, the scratch build uh, trailer that's behind that that the tank's on. Um, this is for some of the components on that. And, you know, these work the same way. You just uh, set them in your, set them in there with the point lined up with the blade, swing your thumb screw clamp around and clamp it down. The thing I like about the plastic is when you tighten down the thumb screw, this clamp tends to bite into the plastic and uh, it'll stay put a lot easier. But like I say, if you put a lot of side pressure on this, it will move. Um, another little trick to them, if you know you're going to put side pressure on it, when you set your clamp, uh, take your clamp and turn it toward the direction that your load is going to be applied to this pattern. Uh, it'll tend not to want to push this around. Um, it'll stay in place a little bit better, but you'll just have to experiment with that. Um, but like I say, I've got, you know, different angles here, and they all work the same way. Uh, you know, this 30 degree, just slide it in there and, you know, bring your clamp around and tighten it down. And anything that you cut on the end will be 30 degrees. Um, and to show you how, how those work, uh, let's just take the, um, let's just take the 30 degree we have here. We'll use that for a reference. Uh, no, let's do uh, let's do the 45. You can see that a little bit better. All right. So all we're going to do is we're going to take our 45 template that we have. We're going to set it in there. Tighten down the thumb screw. And I have a piece of uh, just sheet plastic here. I'm going to slide that in. Now this is one thing you want to check. Your blade on this is only an inch and a half long. And I'll swing it around here. The blade is an inch and a half long. See how close it is to missing that piece of plastic? Uh, that's something you have to keep in mind. Um, you, you can't cut a big, wide piece of plastic with this because your blade's just not big enough. But in this case here, uh, on a 45 degree angle, uh, about an inch, right around an inch, maybe a little less, is about all you can cut with this. But uh, it takes a little bit of pressure when you're cutting these long angles like this to get the blade to go through. But just push it down. And it snaps real good. And there's your 45 degree angle on the end of your piece of sheet plastic. Um, so we'll take that out of there. Like I say, this is a very handy tool. has a lot of uses. Um, I highly recommend this to anybody that's doing scratch building, things like that. So, uh, on to the next thing that you can do with this. Say you have, uh, let's see, let's take a piece of uh, strip plastic that we have here. And say you want to make um, several half inch pieces. And you want them all to be the same, the same uh, length, which is a half inch. I take a piece of scrap plastic. And on the top of this, you will have uh, inch marks. So you want to come over to a half an inch, tighten this piece of plastic down square, make sure it's sitting up against the raised edge here, so everything's square. And then come in with your strip plastic from this side, slide it over until it touches this piece of plastic, and push your handle down. Same thing, slide it over. Push the handle down, and I'm not going to cut this whole thing up. But now we have three half-inch pieces of strip stock that you can replicate. You know, if you was making a brace or a bracket or something like that. I mean, it's very quick and very handy on how, you know, you can uh, make things with this. So, and um, <clears throat> another thing that you can also do is if you are cutting anything that is uh, longer or uh, thicker, like this eighth ear, if you want to make a square, a pretty square cut into that, take your piece of strip stock, slide it in against this piece of plastic, and then take this thumb screw over here and clamp down on the back edge of your strip stock. Just like that. And then as you slide 
the cutter down through it, the blade will not bend as bad. There will be a little bit of a flex in it. This won't be a true 90 right here. It, it's, it's close. Uh, if you're using the black tester cement to glue something or pro weld, uh, that little bit is not going to make a difference. Um, but that's just another trick you can use. The only time you can't use that is when this piece of uh, stock here gets a little shorter, then you're out of the uh, distance of your clamp there. So, you know, but you can do that. And the other neat thing about the chopper is this here is a piece of quarter round. Um, you know, same thing. You can line it up in there and you can cut your quarter round to, in this case we're doing half inch. I mean, you can cut uh, three pieces right there at a half inch long just in that little bit of time. Very handy. You know, you don't have to measure anymore. It's all right there. Uh, this thing will cut just about any shape. Uh, there's a few shapes out there like T's and L's and stuff like that that it will not cut that easy. Um, I don't recommend it. Uh, if you can come up with a way to do it, uh, you know, definitely uh, maybe do a video on it because I'd like to see that. This here happens to be a piece of uh, solid round stock. Same thing. Put it in there. Um, run the blade down through. And we now have two pieces of solid stock that are a half inch long. Um, like I say, very handy because you can do several different shapes in it. Uh, you can also do hollow tubing within reason. Uh, this here is a fairly small hollow tubing. Uh, what I do with that is you want to do it very quickly. It if you do it very quickly, it doesn't crush the tube as bad. So just line it up where you want it and just snap your, your blade down real fast. And it'll go right through it. And now you have two hollow pieces of tubing at a half an inch. And that's all there is to it. Uh, this is called the chopper. You can get it from Micro Mart. Uh, there's several different places that has this tool. Uh, very handy tool if you're going to be scratch building. I highly recommend it to everybody. Um... You know, and it has many purposes. So, hopefully that gives you an idea of, of, you know, one of the tools that I use here in the shop, you know, building uh, uh, my tractor and trailers and, you know, a lot of my projects I use it. But this I mainly use on, you know, my scratch building, my stuff on my tractor and trailers. So, uh, you know, check it out. Like I say, Micromart has them. Uh, several other places do have them. So, you know, check into it. Uh, it's, it's very, uh, it's worth the investment. Uh, I think this may be like 30 bucks, something like that, but well worth it. So, um, hopefully it gives you an idea of, of, you know, something that I use here. And, um, you know, definitely uh, give it a look and try it out and see if you like it. And um, I'm sure you will. So, I'm going to let you go on that today, and we'll talk to you a little later. Bye-bye.